Hi folks, I just wanted to make a, uh, an overview uh, of what I do. This is a, a molded bullet. It's a 120 grain, uh, 9 millimeter bullet that comes out of the mold at .356, kind of roughly. They're, they're, they're pretty close, but not perfect. And this obviously isn't as molded as well as a lot of people mold theirs. But I only use it for a core, so it's fine. So I'll mold this bullet. I do other calibers. Um, I'll show you one here. This is a 22 long rifle. Okay. That's 40 grains. That's the way it looks like coming out of a mold that I made that's just a uh, core mold. That bullet is slightly narrow, narrower than the .225 inch 22 caliber bullet when it's all finished. And make them narrower so I can powder coat them and then squish them to size. But anyway, we'll focus on a 9mm. This is 120 grain 9mm or thereabouts. I find that mine are dropping around 127 grains. So this is what I start with. And this is what I end up with. This, what I do first, is I will powder, uh, take that, um, bullet out of the mold and I will squish it in a swaging die to get the grooves out first and then I will powder coat it and swage it again now this one's been worked over um, I don't normally do them like this. I, I was experimenting with stuff, and this ended up having two coats of powder coat. And um, it was uh, tumbled, raw lead, and it turned real dark. But that's the shape they come out in. Here's a, uh, another one. Uh, oh, that this, this powder coat here is called... Uh, translucent copper it doesn't normally look like that it looks like that because it was put on a very dark bullet this stuff here is called uh, the the name of the powder is um, cardinal silver it's made by Sherwin Williams this also has two coats on it I was messing around with it I'm moving these around and get good views of how they come out okay so those are my two favorite colors. They don't they don't normally come out that color though. This is uh, how smokes usually comes out. Even lighter than this. I mean the translucent copper. I call it smokes because a guy named Smoke markets it. Um, a lot of times these guys will be blotchy looking. You'd be able to see through them a little bit. But uh, here's one I made with Harbor Freight Red. These are uh, three, 0.357 um, diameter on the bearing surface for 9 millimeter. These are 127 green um, so those are the nine millimeter this is this was swaged once yeah that was a reject I don't know how it got in there but anyway this is what the 22 comes out like this is a um it just stuck in this case it's not crimp. This isn't a live round. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, translucent copper. One coat 
on a 22 long rifle swaged come on out of there you see how hard that is to get out whoops I got lines in there hate that all right I have a magnifying glass on the camera otherwise we wouldn't be able to see anything but it's only I think three power so this is what the uh, 22 long rifles come out looking like now 40 grain powder coated swaged then they go in this go in a case put the powder in put them in there and then crimp them um, I don't know if I have any crimped laying around here. Show you what they look like after they're crimped. I have some other nine millimeters here that show the color of the powder coat better because some of the, see these guys were um, I tried tumbling the lead and it turned really dark on me. And these are some that were get, that got that real dark coating. I gotta find some that aren't. I want to show you the normal looking units. All right, here's a normal looking one. This is what they look like when they're done. This is one coat of translucent copper powder and swaged to that diameter. Now, you'll see that there's a spot on there that's uh, right here. It's like an extended ogive. I had to make that because I had them, the ogive starting right up at that line and I made up some dummies to see how they would uh, cycle. And they were getting stuck because the uh, ogive wasn't either thin enough or it wasn't long enough at a thin, thinner diameter. And they were getting stuck a little bit. So I extended that ogive, the start of the ogive back a little bit. Um, these are what I'm making. These are, um, there are some colors here. These are all, these are all a batch that was, uh, tumbled and they're dark. I wanted to find you some that aren't dark. Okay, here's one that I did clear. This has got clear powder coat on it. Or is that cardinal silver? Can't tell. I think it's cardinal silver. I have some clear ones too, though. Um, I don't use it much because you can't tell they're powder coated. Those clear guys. Now I have some here. Here we go. All right. Now this one here. I powder coated with that translucent copper, but I powder coated it <clears throat> as it came out of the mold. So you see the um, the grooves show. Now they're not. That's perfectly. That's a perfectly slippery side. There aren't any dents in there. But they show because, obviously, more powder got in those grooves. I don't like that. Um, so I, I swage them before I powder coat them. Now here is one of these. Is a clear. They might both be. But anyway, swaged, powder coated, and then swaged again, clear. 
and I believe that other one is silver. Here's a silver one. That cardinal silver. I like that. That's my favorite color. I don't like candy colored stuff and toy colors. Blue and pink and that kind of stuff. I like bullets that look like um, metal. So I, I use... Uh, Mostly cardinal silver and that uh, copper, translu translucent copper. But this is how they come out. Whoops, that's got a little bit of a dent from the extraction pin. Now I can make them hollow point or whatever. I don't like to mess around with hollow points. I'm not shooting people or anything. So, for poking holes in paper, you don't need hollow points. But uh, that's how they come out, folks. Look at the base on that thing. It's, it's perfectly round. I mean, it, it's a perfect cylinder. There, there's not a third of a thousandth of variation on that size of the diameter. There is a third of a thousandth in variation this way. It's uh, just a little bigger right at the end. It's 3573 right there and 357 up there. So, but that, you know, when you, when you load them the, the case smushes into it a little bit. I just wanted to show you that. Thanks for watching.